This is the example program for using range validator and required field validator in ASP.NET. For this program, I opened the website. First of all, I move to new option. Under new option, I open the website. Here I choose ASP.NET website. Then I change the name of the website to sample. Then I click OK button. By default, the website opens in a source mode. Here I switch to the design mode for designing purpose. This program needs three labels, two text boxes and two buttons, two required field validator, one range field validator. I place three labels, two text boxes and two buttons in a form initially. Then I change the text property of label 1 to please fill your details. Then I change the text property of label 2 to Enter your name. Again I change the text property of label 3 to enter your DOB. Then I place two text boxes. And two buttons. I change the text to properties of button 1 and button 2 to submit and clear. Finally, I am going to place the validation controls in a form. Two record field validator and one range field validator. Then I change the properties of Required field validator 1. So actually, what is record field validator? Record field validator is very simple and very useful. You can use it to make sure that the user has entered something in a text box control. This control has two properties, control to validate and error message. Now I change the property control to validate to text box 1 and type the error message. Please 
type your name. Next, I change the record field validator to controls property, control to validate to text box to and error message to please enter your DOB. The next one is range validator. What is range validator? Range validator verifies that the user input is within a specified range. You can use it to validate both numbers, strings and dates. This control has four properties. They are control to validate, type, minimum value and maximum value. Now I change the properties of range validator. The first property is control to validate. I change this property to text box to. Then I move to the error message field and change this value to please enter the value between 1986 to 2000. The next two property is maximum value. I set this value as 1, 1, 2000 and I set the minimum value as 1, 1, 1986. The final property of range validator is type. I change the value of the type to date. Now the design view is over. Now I double click the but submit button and enter the coding. Response dot write your details are registered. And double click the clear button and type text box one dot text equal empty and text box two dot text equal to empty. Now the program is over. I am going to start the debugging process. Now I am going to demonstrate the purpose of these two validator controls. So I leave these two text boxes empty and I click the submit button. It shows the error message. Please type your name and please enter your DB. Then now I type some text in text box 1 and I entered the date of birth as 1-9-1918. Now again I press the submit button. It shows the error message as please enter the value between 1986 to 2000. Now I change the value to 
1987 again i press the submit button the program successfully executed and it shows the message your details are registered thank you